we are still in 2021 having the debate over whether it's okay to swing 3-0 when you're out by blah, 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 blah. I'm Jeff Passan here from the Baseball Tonight <laughs> Extra Studios. On your upper left-hand corner is June Lee. Lower right-hand corner is Jesse Rogers. And seemingly from Folsom State Prison, Paul Hembikitis. Down in your lower left-hand corner, Hembo. Thank you for taking time away from Get Up as well as Greeny, the radio show, to join us. And we're going to start with you because after your Mercedes swung 3-0 with the Chicago White Sox up 11 and hit a Williams Astudio 47 mile per hour, I don't even know what to call that. It's not a fastball. It's a something ball that we're probably not allowed to use the word, but hit it way into the night. The Minnesota Twins broadcast did not like that. And so, of course, we are back where we always are, discussing the unwritten rules. We're going to start with you because, Hembo, I didn't realize how long it had been since a baseball player had swung 3-0 with his team up 11 runs. Please give us that context. <laughs> Jeff, it's good to be here. You, you were my one call from prison, so I do appreciate that. From the last 20 seasons, <laughs> over the last 20 seasons, Jeff, uh, so I went back to 2002 here, batters have seen a total of 557 pitches in a 3 nothing count when leading by more than 10 runs, the context that you laid out for last night. His homer last night is the only instance of a player swinging in such a circumstance. <laughs> he hit it out. <laughs> so if you're brave enough to have stayed up to see that home run, as our, as our friend Tim Kershaw might say, you saw something that we practically never have before. And it was a glorious sight, honestly. And Roy Smalley, the uh, color commentator for the Twins, said essentially, I don't like it. And I suppose that's what home broadcasters are paid to do to say, I don't like it. Julie, you start and Jesse, I want to hear you after this. June, did you like it? I mean, when you're bringing in Williams Astadio to pitch in an 11 run game and he's throwing 47 miles per hour, like what do you expect to happen? Like if you're bringing in a, a position player to pitch in the first place, like you should be throwing out any of the results after that. So I think that having a problem with this is having a problem with the fact that you're down by 11 runs in the first place. Look, outside of anybody employed by the Minnesota Twins, I don't think you're going to get a dissenting voice on this. Now, I'm in Chicago, and I've done a deep dive on the, your main Mercedes stories, as I'm sure you guys have in some capacity, right? This is a great national story in, in baseball. It's a guy that's been the minors for 10 years, for God's sakes. He's trying to feed his family. He doesn't want to go back down. He's going to hit anything he can possibly get to. So, I mean, if you consider the context of the hitter, there's no doubt in my mind that he's okay to do that. But like I said, I, I think everybody watching us would probably be in agreement with us. I hope so. And, and I hope we're at the point now where this isn't a thing and we don't have to do these videos and have these conversations anymore and swinging 3-0 is just as okay as swinging 0-0 or 1-0 or 2-0 because it is the major freaking leagues. And your job as a hitter is to hit the ball over the fence if you can. And, and I'm just curious. You guys were given a 47 mile per hour pitch. Would you be able to hit the ball over the fence like your main Mercedes did? No chance. Probably not. Probably no not. That's a lot of power to generate from, from 47, Jeff. It registered as an EFIS. That gets registered as an EFIS. They actually have an EFIS tag? That, 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 they tagged it. That's, that's exactly yeah, right. let, me, let me throw a little uh, wrench into this whole thing that they actually might create some debate. Because I think, like I said, most people are, are in agreement with us. Let's replace your main Mercedes with Mike Trout. And actually, let's replace the position player pitching with a reliever. Because I think once you go outside the box with the position player pitching, all bets are off. But let's say it's a rel normal reliever, 3-0, up 11, 12, 13 in the eighth, ninth inning, and it's Mike Trout at the plate, who doesn't need to feed his family any more than he already has. He doesn't need to cement his legacy. Does that – is that more debatable at least? I don't think Mike Trout – I don't think Mike Trout would ever swing 3-0. I don't think Mike Trout would ever – 
ever do that. And this is not me saying that he's right or wrong for doing that, but I think that there are players out there who still abide by that old school code, who aren't going to come out and say, hey, don't swing 3-0, that's rude, that's obnoxious, that's ridiculous, that doesn't follow the unwritten rules. But they themselves are never, ever, ever going to consider doing it. I, I, I feel like this is also a feel to... thing. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, I, mean, I, I feel like this is also a feel thing where it's co- completely dependent on the context. And the context is like, you brought a position player in and he's throwing 47 mile per hour meatballs in a game in in the middle of May. Like, Mike Trout, again, Mike Trout probably doesn't swing at all 3-0 in the first place, but this is a feel thing. This, you know, you can write these like unwritten rules and have them be blanket statements across. Like you can, you can't do X, Y, Z in this situation, but this is, feels like one of those situations where like you look at the context and it's like, ah, uh, shrug. It's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> um, exactly. Jeff, I will say this, even if we can generally agree that what he did yesterday was not egregious or even wrong at all. I actually do think that the push and pull between the old school and the new school in baseball is actually a better thing than everyone sort of universally agreeing that we should all just be having fun by these new school rules. Because let's admit it, baseball fans on average are older. Baseball fans on average are more traditional. No matter what, there's going to be a large contingent of baseball's fans, the people who pay money to watch baseball, that are going to want the game being played the way that they grew up watching the game be played. That tug of war, that push and pull, in my judgment, is it's just as attractive for baseball and its popularity and us talking about it as is the fact that we can see guys do things that maybe 20 years ago they might not have considered. I think that tug of war, that push and pull is a healthier thing for baseball than us universally agreeing upon some set of new standards by way that these players should be playing. Like if they want to police themselves a certain way, who am I to tell them otherwise? But there are a lot of people that don't see it the way that we do. And not to go meta here just for a second, but like the fact that we're having this conversation right now and there's not any dissenting opinion among us and we're working for ESPN and, you know, we're part of the media gatekeepers of how people talk about baseball. Uh, I feel like that kind of shows a cultural evolution, how kind of these discussions are happening within the sport. I think it made the whole thing more fun. I mean, first of all, it looked like Mercedes was pitching to Mercedes, right? It's body <laughs> type very similar. He throws a 47 mile per hour East Efish. What Efish pitch? What, what you want him to take it? I mean, I want to see him hit that over the fence and generate that kind of power. That that should be the discussion today. How unique just seeing that whole thing play out was not breaking some unwritten rule. It's just, it's sort of ridiculous, but I, I get the twins broadcasters. I'll give them a break in the moment. I thought, Jeff, you said it right at the top. Like now yeah, you kind of expect that out of the home broadcast. Well, we've got Mercedes versus Mercedes. We've got June Lee going meta and we've got Hembo plugging our state of baseball project, which you can find over at ESPN.com for now for Jesse Rogers, Paul Hembikitis and June Lee. I'm Jeff Passan. Check back. There will be plenty more from Baseball Tonight Extra.